Hey guys, what is going on? We are here for my second book um, discussion, Ninja Sun, The Story of Ninja Tories. One of, oh, <laughs> I had to get it out of the light for you guys. One of the other books that, you know, my second book in the series. Um, if you guys, I do have Ninja Sun, the beginning up already. So if you guys would love to check that out, it is on my website. Um, Kenny, uh, it is Kenny Lowe's Ninja Sun dot com. Make sure you guys go check it out. It will be on the screen right here, so you guys can go and check it out. Not only that, it will be um, people who go to the website will get exclusive. Um, it will be an exclusive content over there. Then it will release over here on YouTube a little bit later. But you guys get first dibs um, at the website. Oh, excuse me, guys. So, now, in this book, it does not, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it does not follow exactly what happens at the end of Ninja Sun, the beginning, chapter four. It doesn't start there. This is a little twist. <coughs> this is where Ninja, uh, Ninja Taurus himself Category on, um, you know, um, tell you guys. <coughs> I don't know what the heck is going on. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> Throat got dry. He tells you guys from the very beginning, uh, well, 40 years into the future, because at this point he's uh, 40 years old. Um, he tells you guys the story of how he was awakened. But how he was awakened in this. When you get to uh, Ninja Sun, the awakening is a little bit different. It's a little bit different in the way I did it. So, you guys got to read that part, but uh, that's in chapter four. So, let's go ahead and get into chapter one. So, I'm going to read the, uh, I'm going to read the synopsis of chapter one, and then we're going to get into it. Chapter one, Ninja Taurus's Awakening. Awakening. Malik Howard is a student who has just arrived uh, in high school. Malik begins to um, find a long buried secret about himself just as things in Tokyo takes a turn for the worse. Now, if you re I read, I, now, if you guys read this book and then you find, uh, like, Tokyo, yes. The setting of this is in Tokyo. Why? Because that's where all the Japanese anime goes. <laughs> that's where all the Japanese and uh, that's where all the Japanese heroes are. Even though my characters are black, not all of them, but you know the main, uh, the main is the main five plus Cancer Libra. Now those two, they're East Indian with um, dark skin, so they're brown. So they're um, brown. Pisces and uh, Orion, they're black. Uh, Ninja Scorpio, she's supposed to be not black, but she's a, her, but she's Japanese. But her skin's supposed to be a little bit darker. But I like the tone that she is. But there's, um, but there was seven of them that was mainly supposed to be black. Um, and the main five are those guys. Okay. So what I'm gonna do in this uh, on this video, we're gonna talk about chapter one. Now chapter one um, comes out to be where you get to learn a little bit about Malik Howard. Malik is modeled after my friend Prentice, and most of you guys already know that because I've talked to you guys extensively about how I came up with the characters. Now Ninja Taurus, uh, well Malik is. 14 years old and I know if you look at the um if you look at the cover and you like these guys are 14 no um my artists both of them decide to make them into their adult form but um uh, when I there's something I can't tell you guys about in this but um when I do when I do something in the future you'll see them as 14 year olds um, but right now on the cover, they're not. Um, Ninja Taurus 
is telling you about how he was awakened. And let me skim through a little bit of the book because I forgot some of the places where he was basically taken. Uh, because Ninja Taurus um, has to fight in this chapter by himself. Now, Ninja Taurus, the setting is in 1994. And Ninja Taurus is going to an, um, a school that's... Um, I gotta, let me make sure because look. When I found these schools in Japan, oh my gosh, I was like, I need to probably uh, try to remember the, the name of these schools, <laughs> but I don't remember the name of the schools. Um, he does, okay, he, now I do have him, you know, reading, he does speak uh, Japanese and English uh, because he moved there with his mom and dad uh, before he was one. And it, it is all now, all of this is a plan. None of them knows that this is a plan that all the ninja warriors are in Japan for, you know, um, all together for a reason. We'll talk about that. Now, uh, he attends Tokyo Metropolitan Kokuisai High School. So that's the name of the high school. And it is like off the, it's not in Tokyo, it's like maybe. I think it was like 30 minutes outside of Tokyo because they didn't live um, they didn't live in Tokyo. They lived outside of Tokyo. And this is school where, you know, he made a lot of friends. Um, he was like the popular student. But Malik is like the crazy guy. He's more so like the... Um, he's more so like... I don't want to call him the class clown because he's not. He's more like the laid back, chill, you know, Ninja War. I mean, um, kid. So, Ninja Tor. No, so now at this point, Malik is going around, you know, feeling like something is off. Now, this is the thing the Ninja Warriors know, uh, as their powers are starting to awaken, they know something is off. And he's, no he's noticing something is off. Maverick comes to him um, and calls him by Ninja Taurus. Malik doesn't know. Um, he knows something is off. Um, he's, you know, his energy starts to manipulate at the, um, at the age of 14. Now, the reason why this is happening, the reason why they're awakening at 14 is because the threat is coming and it's coming soon. And it's not, you know, and the threat, only, they only literally have, um, at this point in the story of Ninja Taurus, it's only literally a good two months before, you know, the threat comes. Maverick comes in, and, you know, he's the reason why Ninja Taurus is awakened. Um, Himito comes to, um, comes to, Ma I mean, Malik in his sleep. Well, not in his sleep. He he dreams it, but then he wakes up and he tells him, uh, Himito tells him who he is and, you know, and awakens, you know, his spirit. So once his spirit is awakened, he goes around school and pretends like he's not even awakened. But once, uh, when he gets outside, Maverick, and he has some shadow husk. Um, the shadow husk are kind of like you know in the shape of him and his face but they're just like shadow like shadowy you know um creepy dolls basically and they come in and they try to you know they try to take him try to um take Mav i mean not maverick but malik malik ends up showing them that you know he has been awakened he transformed into ninja taurus on school's grounds now he's on school grounds doing this and he takes out the whole entire Shadow Husk. Maverick gets away. So that's technically the end of chapter one. Is, you know, um, he was told by Himito that, you know, he has to find the other two ninjas. And because the other two ninjas are in his vicinity, which would be Apollo and Serpent. Them two are in his vicinity. 
So he has to, you know, find them, link up, and you know, destroy this threat while they have the op while you know before you know everything goes to hell, basically. So we're gonna leave off on that. That is where we're gonna start off with. Uh, we're gonna start off with chapter two the next time, which is about Ninja Apollo. So y'all, let me know y'all thoughts. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to my website and i love you all make sure you guys spread the website to everybody come back and see me i will see you guys later